This is the old siding. And this is the new wall. Uh, at least part of it. Uh, I left it oh, part of it open so I could show you what I'm doing here and kind of explain my thoughts and theory and uh, see what you think. So, let's uh, come over here and check this out. We removed the old siding. Um, took out the old insulation, it was R11, we replaced it with R15, rock wool insulation, much, uh, much more efficient. And then we took this um, radiant barrier plywood. Uh, typically it's used in uh, for roof sheathing, uh, the foil points in towards the building, because there does need to be an air gap in order for the radiant uh, plywood to work correctly. So I kind of used that theory and put these um, one by two spacers in there to give me the air gap in order to nail my uh, siding on top of. We did go with concrete siding. It's much strong, not necessarily stronger. It's uh, rot resistant, fire resistant, and uh, should last a lot longer and, and look a lot nicer. The theory is we'll have airflow in between the siding and this radiant barrier and the heat should come in and hit this radiant barrier and kind of radiate off and then flow out through the vented events that I'm gonna put up there. So we're also papering over this. So we did two layers of paper technically. Um, we're gonna put this paper over this just to uh, keep any moisture, just to kind of fight moisture a little bit. Also because I did put the windows on top of the stickers so I needed some way to flash the windows correctly. 